Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Welcome to Hot and Spicy. Before we start, I put hot sauce on my on hot sauce. That's right. So that's the third of the three shirts. Um, okay. So I was. In the comments, I don't know your name, so I can't say thanks, Pete or John or whatever. Uh, but your channel, you'll remember, you left me a comment saying, heads up. And thanks for people, as I say, telling me about these curries coming out in the supermarkets, because sometimes I don't see them. And one such, ca such case was, uh, as I say, somebody left a comment saying, Heron Foods are now got a chicken fowl in the stock, £2 in money. And there it is. So I went straight out and I let you know, didn't I, in the comments I got one. So that's what we're trying today. Um, new chicken fowl mega hot curry. So we're going to see. So that's the curry there. I'm not doing rice today. I do rice a lot with different things. So I'm having curry and chips. Very British thing that is. These are Harry Ramsden's chips. Uh, but he, he kindly let me have some. And then uh, there's the glass. And this flatbread I've just blocked is uh, roasted garlic and herb with olive oil and all that type of stuff. Um, which Mrs. H got. Thank you, Mrs. H. She saved the day because I forgot to get some. Drinks of choice. Madri. Ice cold. And this thing. I remember this. in the, Was it the 80s, 90s? Remember that? Grolsch. So I'm going to go with some of that for this. Pills and a beer from, uh, where's it from? Grosh, is it? 4% 4, 4 Grosh, is it German? I think I could be wrong there. Right, it's one of these, uh, so just bear with me. Oh, not so bad. Good thing with these, you can reuse the bottles. So, happy Saturday, eh? I hope you've had a happy weekend so far. And I've actually brought with me knife, fork and spoon because uh, we're going to go in with the sauce first because so, that'll contain most of the heat, I should think. So here we go, first bite. Heron Foods Fowl, Chicken Fowl. Well, firstly, that is a good tasting curry sauce. Very nice. You gotta think it's not homemade, it's not takeaway. So you can't compare it to that, it's a supermarket, mass produced, two pounds in money. Um, let's have a go with the chicken. Now there is a heat there. I am getting a the heat there, just we'll have a piece of chicken now, see what that's like. And that's good chicken. Chicken breast, I take it. Um, very nice. So, what am I getting heat-wise? It's making my mouth water. There's a lovely spice to it, flavour. So far, it would be... Um, it's not a foul, for me, anyway. Um... Yeah, we'll, have to, we'll have a bit more, I'll have to decide on what I put it as. Anyway, cheers, good health to you, all the best. <sighs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's nice, I forgot how good that is. That's nice. We soon empty the bottle, so we may use two bottles in this video, I don't know. That's lovely. Right. Let's, uh, don't often see me with knife and fork, do you? 
chips. Oh, lovely. So, what do we think of that chilli there? Now, when I say someone asked me when I was saying I was in person, uh, when was it yesterday? I said I was having this, and if you're watching, thanks, nice to speak to you. <laughs> they know they are. And um, be it, they said they'd be interesting for me to compare this to the. Um, Iceland's Carolina Reaper. Like I said to him, you can't compare them. Because the Iceland Carolina Reaper is a Reaper. It's not stating it's a fowl. So the Iceland curry is hotter than this. The Reaper one. Um, let's try this garlic bread. Mmm. That is beautiful. Um, compared to other, I had a fiery file. Where was that from? Was that Morrison's? Vin Volcanic Vindaloo fiery file. Oh, yeah, I can't remember the heat of that. Um, I don't think it was. Because the Volcanic Vindaloo, that was a lovely curry. It was hot. Um, but obviously not, not as, I'd say it was hot as this, the, vin the volcanic vindaloo, but I can't remember exactly, see. I just want to get to the centre bit here, there's loads of garlic and things on this. And what you do is you dip, dip in. So, heat wise, and you know, just on a curry level, um, it's not a foul. For me, this is, this is my own personal thing. I'd say, uh, maybe a Vindaloo. Maybe a Vindaloo or a hot Madras, very hot Madras or a Vindaloo, that level. But very nice. The flavour's good because you're never too sure what uh, you're going to get with some of these. But um, this is more flavoursome. The light Iceland's Reaper, give you an idea, because that's just heat, it's just different. I was also told about um, um, Morrison's doing, was that a fiery fowl or something? Or a fiery chicken using naga chilies was it? Someone in the comments left it, so thank you for that. I did try Morrison's, couldn't have it, so whether I missed that, I don't know. Um, mm. These steak chips, as they may call them in America. Um, these are nice. Um, yeah, I tried there, couldn't get that. Someone else said Marks and Spencers were releasing one. Um, and I think it was that one that was meant to be their hottest yet or something. I went online, nothing. Um, and I wanted a phone 
one of the stores near me and they don't take calls you can't check for stock levels like that you have to go in the shop so I haven't been near one to find out so I may have missed that as well I'm not sure but if you tried one let me know what you think of it now it does build this it's building slightly the heat the more you eat so well done yeah I think someone who doesn't have say you have a madras vindaloo maybe you'd enjoy it and you feel the heat you know So what's your week been like? Bit of the same old thing for me, working as usual. And that um, the weather's been much better than uh, was it last week? Whew. Rain, but as I say, not in Scotland. Wow, they had it bad there. And um, Ireland, wow, yeah. And England, I think. Um, down south copped it today someone Cornwall wearing so I'm not sure where whereabouts or so I know where uh, Natalie and Gavin are down that way, Devon I think you are. Um, I'm not sure if you've had any rain or if you've copped it, but I hope you're okay. Or anybody else down there, you know. Yeah, so it's important. Um, I seen a, oh, is it either the Iceland Reaper curry or the I remember one of the supermarket hot curries could have been a foul or a vindaloo isn't it and this chap was um, he looked like I think he does food reviews on YouTube and he was trying this and he slated it every which way and it's not fair in my eyes if I did reviews of food somebody did ask would I do them or sh I should do them or something but um, yeah, not, it's not my thing really but if I was reviewing you've got to look at what you've got you know he was slating it every way and then he said oh it was £1.50 well what do you expect for £1.50 it's not going to be restaurant standard or homemade or it's what it is as long as it's tasty and you think you're getting your money's worth. That's what it is. It's meant for quickness. It's, you know, this here is it, it's ready in eight minutes. You can't argue, can you? If you're in a, if you fancy the hot curry, quick, can't be bothered cooking it. Or maybe you can't cook it. Yeah. And what I mean is he didn't review it with respect, if that makes sense. Absolute rubbish. Isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. So it's um yeah, it's got a bit of a kick. The more you eat, which is that is nice. Mm. Forgot my um oh, paper towels. Not made a mess and just in case. Anyway, no, what are you having at last?
I'm drink. It's funny, my chilli plants are still, uh, the best one for me was the KN, KN chilies. That thing has produced but eight chilies. I had all them when they went red. It brought more. I've used them, about another six I think. And it's still growing more now, just green, they're green, but you know, it's, that's been a really good year for that, KN chili. Um, the Armageddon, that's been the last to produce chilies, and I've got four on there now. Round, they look like reapers do. They're round like that, Armageddon they're called. So I'm going to try them in some dish form or other. Um, and what's the other ones I got? This, the Jalokia Scorpion Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad Scorpion. And there's a Jalokia in there in the, in the middle. So um, that's done well. This, that was, that's brought some chilies out before the, the Armageddon. Uh, and they were nice, they were hot. So, um, as in chilli plants this year, they've done really well, I think. For me, anyway. So it seems they're using chicken breast in this. It's not the smooth chicken, sometimes you can have in these curries, like a smooth chicken, and it sort of melts in the mouth, but you can't tell um, if it's you know chicken breast because you need to feel them fibrous bits, don't you? Well, this has got I've just felt the fibrous bits, if you like, in the in the chili, in the chili, in the chicken. Does it say what chilli is there? So Oh Cooked chicken Cooked chunky pieces of chicken breast there In a very hot onion and tomato curry sauce With peppers yeah, it is tomatoey. Um, onion, chicken, chicken breast, tapioca, starch, salt, red peppers, rapeseed oil, tomato, paste, red chilli puree, spices, garlic, ginger, modified maize starch, salt, chilli powder, crushed, dried, Red chilies and mustard powder. Nah, it doesn't say which chilies. So there, yeah, I've got a got a bead of sweat there. Well, I don't know if it's hot enough for me to have a sweat on. Unless this is on. No, no. Well, maybe it is coming through me then. So how can I say? What did I expect? Well, I don't know. I did, these because different supermarkets can be quite different even when they name it the same thing some are not really hot um, but they're very flavorful others are super hot but that would drown any flavor you have you know Very nice. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, I forgot my towel. Chilli, that's the fuck. Where is that? Chilli, the um. Yeah. Hmm. So when you first try it, 
there is a tomato, very tomatoey onion, but you think, wow, that's flavoursome. For a hot curry, I mean, because some hot curries, as I said, just you have a bit of a flavour, and then, especially from a supermarket, uh, from a takeaway. Now this, flavourful, um, it's hot, but as I say, high-end madras into vindaloo in heat for me. But the more you eat, the more you eat, it does build slightly, so it's probably in vindaloo level. Now, um, making my mouth water. Bit of sweat. Um, it's probably from this and a bit warm maybe. But that's made it, you know. Made me sweat a bit. Um, mouth, the heat full, the whole mouth. Um, it's not uncomfortable, it's not a super hot heat, it's it's just nice for two quid. One of these curries you could just have in the week, you know, if you fancy a curry in the week, but you can't be bothered going out for a takeaway or phoning up or something. Be ideal. And it's a nice change having the chips. Right, have I gone on? Again, oh, there's a couple of chicken pieces. No, one more chicken piece there, and the rest of this is sauce. Then, in fact, I'll see if I can show you the chicken. I'm getting the stuff now. I'll do me. Right. So verdict. Very nice, but I doubt it's going to be there long. It says limit uh, new. Is it a limited edition? Yeah. So it says new at the top here. Limited edition down here. Definitely chicken breast. Well done. Wow. Two pounds. So chicken fowl, um, the overall of it. It's not a fowl for me. I'd say it's into Vindaloo. It was a madras, top end madras. The more I've eaten, getting a bit more heat. It's now into a Vindaloo for my level. Um, very tasty, inexpensive, and would I buy it again? Yes, I would, but as I say, it's limited edition, so may, it may not be available for long. It leaves a slight afterburn in the mouth, and the more you eat, obviously, uh, it did give me a bit of a sweat in it. Um, as I say, mouth's been watering, so I'm happy with that. That's what, that's what it's about. As long as I feel a burn, Mouth watering, sweating, eyes glazing, whatever. I'm happy with that. But um, yeah, so very nice. It's just for me, not a foul level. But otherwise, yeah, fantastic. So thanks for watching. If you follow me on Paul H, I'll see you in the morning. No Sunday lunch tomorrow. Well, we are on Sunday lunch, but we're going out. Um, we've been doing a, a lot of filming over the last few weeks and that'll come out soon in a sort of autumn autumnal video just where we've attended different events and filmed clips from them so uh, it was nice visiting the old Grolsch again I got two of these um, as I say you can reuse the bottles you know it's handy so I'll uh, open this up now and then as I edit this video. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. All the best. Thanks everybody for letting me know about these and um, yeah, for just watching these uh, videos. All the best and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.